Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Weekly Brief, brought to you by the Simpson team. I'm Kenny Simpson, part of the Simpson team. Anyways, on today, this week, I wanted to talk about a few things. Number one, interest rates. Always a topic when you're a loan officer, right? Interest rates kind of are remaining flat, guys. So we think interest rates by now, that's our guess, is they peak back in into May, June, and they're kind of trickling down. So we kind of focus on, I feel like interest rates are kind of bouncing at 10 years, you know, two and a half to 2.8. So we're, we're kind of just bouncing up and down. So major swings are kind of over. We're not having five, six pricing updates in a day. We might have two or three. So look, if the interest rate's down, lock it. If they get a little higher, don't lock it. The second thing I wanna talk about is HELOC. HELOCs are the topic everybody's talking about. So my advice is, is look, if you got a good first, get the HELOC, you know? Yes, the rates are gonna be higher. They're gonna go probably up a little bit, then they'll come back down. My guess is take the money, just don't use it to go on a $200,000 vacation or to buy a Lamborghini. Hopefully you're using that to put back in properties or buy something that's gonna produce cash flow. Um, and then think about it. I'm guessing in the near future, a year or two, you'll probably consolidate that first and second and refinance it to a lower rate. It might not be as low as your first now, but when you average out the two, it will probably make sense because remember that HELOC is floating, you know, it's evolving, you pay it up and down, but that rate changes, so a lot of people do not like that. Last but not least, we are starting to see a little bit more buyer demand pick up. We're starting to see sellers get a bit more realistic. I think over the next 30 days, just 30, the, the houses that are sitting on the market are either gonna do more price reductions or they're gonna take that offer that they're getting that they're like, we're not gonna take it. So people are getting lowball offers. They're just saying, we don't want them. They're trying to hold out. But I can tell you right now, guys, if you are a seller, I'm talking a lot of buyers, they're willing to sit here and like, well, just be patient. Because they know in 30, 60 days, they're not, guys, they have the intel. They can go on the YouTubes and the podcasts and watch what experts say. They can look at the data. They can look at the price cuts. You can't fool them. They know that eventually you're gonna have to drop that pricing to where they think is realistic to meet them. And that's what's happening is the sellers and buyers are getting closer and closer to where we have this moment of a, you know, a, a recalibrate in the uh, market and then we go run again. So anyways, thanks for watching. That is the weekly brief. We'll catch you guys next week. Have a great week. Talk to you then.